Yeah. Yeah. So it was about 20 minutes in here, I think. Yeah. Time went quickly. <laughs> because I was talking to an old man that traveled to Canada and South Africa and stuff like that. And what happened when you got on a bicycle? Well, this is D50 or D51 for the people that yeah, want to know which one it is. Because once again, you know, information about the thing is in one of my other videos. If you type in the search field D50 or D51, you probably will find it. So, yeah. This one is nice because it's quite big. The other one was quite big as well, of course. There are different types, as I mentioned before. Oh yeah. I like this one because it looks big. You know, maybe, yeah. Yeah. I think it has to do with the bigger stones that are used. You know? Yeah. It's kind of silly that you can't really walk around it. You know? I could go through there, you know, but I'm not feeling like crouching and. Nah. See? Those, those, those. Circle stones basically, you know, those the stone circle around it. These stones are quite big. This one is bigger than me. And I'm six foot four, so yeah. Let's throw. Ah well it's equally big. Let's see how big it is. Yeah, I can't see myself now. Can I twist this? Oh. Yeah I can. Huh. See? And I'm not a small person. Uh, as I say, most Dutch aren't really tiny, you know. Six foot four, I think it is an uh, American measure. One meter ninety-two. So yeah, this stone is probably the uh, same height. <laughs> so that you get a little bit, because it's quite big. Yeah. And I like it, you know. I've had uh, jam sessions here as well. Yeah. I should I should try to set that up more often and I'm planning to do that as well. You know. Yeah, I do give jam sessions already uh, indoors now because it's winter time, right? But still it doesn't uh, really attract the crowd that I wish to attract. <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. had my session here, you know, it was a pagan crowd and the pagan crowd as well. No, that's what you call it over there, right? Pagan crowd. We, we use the word heathen, but it's kind of a, yeah, a similar crowd, I think. Right? Yeah. But this is a nice place, see? Yeah, I got a nice picnic table there. I'm a bicycle, of course. Yeah, it's my horse. You know? Yeah. And I like it because it's nice, open and sunny, you know. It always looks nice on pictures as well because, yeah, somehow it catches the light nice, you know, you know even, even on film, right? Yeah, it gives, yeah, it gives, a, yeah, more like it is a picture. It reminds me a little bit more like the things in Karnak, you know, like if you look at pictures in France, you know, of dolmens, yeah. But that's just because it's full in the sun, you know? Yeah, like many others are kind of uh, the undergrowth of yeah, the trees around it. But this catches the sun really nicely, I suppose. I don't know, I don't know why exactly it has that effect, but yeah. When I first saw this one I found this a really beautiful one. Yeah. So once again, you know, if you want to know more about these things, you know, or you have them at your place as well, you know, I think we should make like a network because I also work as a volunteer at the Dolmen Museum, you know, of the Netherlands, you know, in Borga that is. Well, usually I do the music there with my, uh, with my drums, you know, yeah, frame drums and whistles and that kind of thing. I'm kind of into the prairie. <laughs> 
not not to be disrespectful with the primitive music, you know. If you, if you, if you indeed <laughs> go through my channel, you will know what I mean, you know. I tend to say it's shamanic, you know, but then you get all kinds of people. Then again, uh, you know, yeah, they like to have opinions about it and things like that, you know. Yeah. But as you can see, we have our traditional monuments as well, you know, so we have our rights as well. Yeah. So all those people that are, yeah, think we Europeans came from it from the sky because it often feels like that, you know, like people think that because it's always the, the, the white man that's bad and, you know, and, and, and screwing everything up, right? Well, we didn't fall from the ground, you know, no. These monuments are 5,000 years old, they are older than the pyramids, they are older than Stonehenge, you know? Yeah. People were living here on these grounds still, you know? And if you look in the facial features of people and, and, and stuff like that, you know, if you really would study stuff, yeah, you would see that you can still see that we have been living here for thousands of years and that we adapted to the landscape, you know, yeah, because this, this basically isn't of my culture, you know, if you, if you look at the Neolithic uh, thing, right, yeah, we have different monuments, we, 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 we also have different patterns in the pottery and different burial rites and different everything, different language, different features and body features and stuff. But yeah, most people don't care about that anymore, you know, nah. they are completely unaware or they just simply do not care at all about roots and, you know, yeah. And I, it's not, it's not that I, uh, nah, in my normal life, it's not like I'm very occupied with it, but I do have my moments of awareness. And yeah, things like these, you know, <laughs> they kind of remind me of it. See, there are uh, again other people coming as well to look at it. It's basically a good thing, you know. See, there are different crowds that are attracted to these things, you know, or they are old people that really want to look into the to find it interesting, you know, to finally learn more about it. Or there are young people that are truly interested and want to make a study of it, you know, that they uh, really come from afar to see these kind of things with uh, bare eyes. Or just, or just young youngsters, you know, that find it a cool place to chill <laughs> and get stoned, yeah. But anyway, they keep attracting people. As you can see, every every basically every place that I visited now, you know, attracted people as well. But like I said, it, it is a part of it that it's also a sunny Sunday. So sunny Sundays do pull out the people. Yeah, I'm thinking about cycling that way as well. Now now I'm already here, you know. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize that I would when I was getting here. But just to turn around after after that bicycle ride would be kind of dull. Yeah. See? I'm sitting on a bench now and and I like this view. Yeah. I hope you like it as well. I hope also that I offer something else that people didn't know, you know. It is about the Netherlands, you know, that, 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 that a lot of Americans call Holland, you know. That place where Amsterdam is at. Yeah. And I find, yeah, Amsterdam gets a little bit too much attention, you know. Yeah. Would be nice if the Dutch countryside, you know. People go to Ireland and to France and to, you know, Denmark perhaps to, to watch dolmens. You know, yeah, we have them as well. Yeah. <laughs> so it would be nice if people became a little bit more aware of that as well. I know that many other nations do have them as well. They are kind of now uh, making a 
megalithic European foundation, you know, the museum where I work at. Works together now with Germany and with Sweden and Denmark. So, yeah. And I believe, I'm not sure if it already works together with the UK. I should check that. But I think they, yeah, and, and with Spain they're working together as well. And they should be, start to work together with France. But yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's European heritage, you know. At first they call it Dutch heritage and now they are combining the Dutch. And I think if all these museums and all these foundations work together, you know, you get much more information. And then you get a more complete image and then you also can more seriously, yeah, build up, you know, retract that stuff. You know, then you can uh, make nice migration routes and, and, and compare the pottery and traditions and, 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 and stuff like that. So you be going, yeah. See, even the old people like to climb them. Yeah, she's standing right on top. <laughs> See? <laughs> it's, some, it's something that just invites to do somehow, you know, yeah. Well, let's see how that goes, right? Yeah. It would be cool if, if, if people make response videos, you know, if someone in France is sitting there, you know, lives close to Karnak, you know. i never been to Karnak or in, in, in Bretagne, you know, the, 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 the dolmens in, in, in from, from the Breton dolmens are very nice as well. So, it would be cool if people connect. And even if it's just people that find it interesting, you know, yeah. I want to start a video block circle. <laughs> yeah, just just go outside, you know, and film the funkiness in town or out of town. See, they like making pictures and movies as well. <laughs> it's cool, old people with iPhones. Oh, well. Yeah, and by the way, if anyone wants to jam, you know, have jam sessions, right? Or has a good formula to put on uh, drum circles and stuff, because I mean more in, with jam sessions, of course, than drum circles, public drum circles. If you're in the Netherlands as well. <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, I want to I wanna get involved locally and internationally, you know, yeah. I just want to see if it works. <laughs> Grandpa standing on top. Mm. Would be something if he falls and breaks his leg. <laughs> uh. <laughs> see, with old people, they 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 don't they don't disturb me that much. <laughs> <laughs> they just seem to have fun. Yeah. It's not uncomfortable to be talking then. Yeah. But anyway, enough of my ranting, right? At least you saw something that I hope you haven't seen before and gets your interest. If it does, you know, you can find my website. You know, it's this name of the channel that I use, only then at WordPress, you know. Yeah. If you type in Spielswolf, because that's how it's pronounced in Google, you probably find it as well. <laughs> that's cool. Uh, who says old people are boring, right? <laughs>